This channel is for immature audiences only. It is not for children, only for childish adults. We might play some video games that kids also like, but we say words like fuck and shit with alarming frequency and make crude, inappropriate, and morbid jokes all the damn time. Level 0 NPCs assumes no responsibility if your idiot spawn watches this and gets traumatized. Every screen is making me tired. <laughs> oh, here comes the bunny. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Hi. Hi. Well, how much more grinding right. do we have to do before we can beat this thing? Well, honestly, we're I'm There's I'm just waiting for nightfall at this point. Ooh. Wow, we Ooh. wait for nightfall. When the Let's night tackle comes. those questions. When the you night comes. I mean, right. we're not like one or two episodes away at this point. There's still quite a bit to do, but Yay. like we're definitely in the hear. in the ending stretch. Idris right. asks Ooh. questions for B Sword and Sorcery movies. What are your thoughts on your The Hunter from the Future? Well, um my answer is that uh, this is the first I'm hearing of it. <laughs> well, <laughs> but it won't I, be the last. I've never seen your The Hunter from the Future, but I have heard of it. And I have seen the trailer. And I think we all need to take a second and watch that trailer. <laughs> Except right. for you, Luke. <laughs> <laughs> you keep playing. Yeah. We'll uh, be right back. <laughs> We'll be right well, back. Well, I mean, just play the trailer. I'll go find it. I can't imagine we're going to get a, a strike for it. So, why? I'll just put it in. Like, I'll do a little picture in picture thing with the uh, with the your trailer, so yeah, you guys can comment on it, and I'll just sit in quiet oh. bewilderment. Yes, okay, we gonna, will. I'm, I'm, I can't answer this question, Idris, but I will generate some thoughts on your <laughs> Hunter from the Future now live. For your entertainment, All I right. hope that's sufficient. I'm gonna play. We're the... gonna we're doing a let's play and a react video all in one. <laughs> oh, yeah, we it's are very experimental. Mashing. This is what we do here. You are so lucky to know us and be with us. All right, I'm gonna play the one minute and thirteen trailer. Yeah, from got it. Yeah. Hey. Yar. Oh God, he just shot a guy. In another time. Ooh. <laughs> so he's got lasers and dinosaurs, yeah, he but he's wearing very little. Power and strength. In his quest for his origin. Yeah. I, I don't know what I was imagining exactly, but I was wrong. And try to Oh my god. forces of a newly born earth. He seems the to best be part of this all on a pterodactyl, and I'm curious if that was in a live pterodactyl or a dead one. I think it was just a just glider. paragliding. What in the? Oh my God! There's the Star Wars. Sh that's a flaming sword. Uses the weapons of tomorrow. Oh! <laughs> and that's the master from Doctor Who. His passion for freedom. Oh, that was oh, no. a caveman. Not the beach hut. Yep. Beach hut's gone. Sorry. From the future. No, you're the hunter from the future. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, that was fucking mad. Uh, that seemed to be uh, every movie. All of them. Yeah. yeah. Simultaneously. Just, let's just chuck it all together. It's it's like they were trying to generate, like, one, like, cubic volume of movie. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and they just filled it with things that are in movies. You, I, had, uh, you had Star Wars, you had Battle of the Ape, uh, Planet of the Apes, you had fucking Land of the Lost. You had everything. It was, it was everything. And I, I appreciate it. Climate. I like the, uh, you know, I thought it was uh, I thought it was uh, compelling. I, I kind of want to watch it now. I liked his, like, manly roars that he kept doing throughout the trailer. Yeah. Well, he was a hunter, after he all. He was. Hunter's roar, you know. And did you notice that the last roar was slowed down? So, just for effect... Yeah. Hunters, well known for roaring. Yeah, well and known, slow motion. Yeah. Well known for roaring. And, you know, uh, who else is in this? Let's see. Who, I said who else. Like, I named anybody. <laughs> All right. Let's, After let's, some, uh, let's, isn't like yeah. Sam I, Jones's cousin? I went After into some. that trailer with questions that I could put into words. And I came <laughs> out of that trailer with questions that I cannot put into words. I, I understand that after seeing I, I think I am that more confused than I was in short so the Yor was played by Reb Brown yep and, Reb Brown uh, Reb Brown uh, and uh, the female lead there who I 
found quite compelling in a very 80s way. Yes. Was Corinne Clary? Clary? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? French, you know? Uh, and uh, finally, John Steiner as Overlord. You find some uh, copper Kupix on the new long Nice. Um, John Steiner, by the way, also uh, starred in Sinbad of the Seven Seas and Caligula uh, yep. from 79. You know? No, not to forget Camping Del Terror. No, I mean you can forget All right. that. All right, yeah, fair call. It's, John, it's not it's not John Steiner's finest work. No. What's with my, all the? Why my are thoughts, the... Idris, are that uh, nothing with both dinosaurs and lasers can be all bad. No, it's true. Uh, um, here's a theory. Here's a theory that we could all like chime in on. Why do you think John Steiner abruptly stopped acting in 1991? I think it was the Gulf War. <laughs> He's still alive. He is. So he can't, can't be death. No. Nah. Maybe maybe he got a, a debilitating disease. Because he was he was rocking it since like 1965 and then 1991 hits and all of a sudden no more. No, that's it. I think he's living 1991 over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't figured it out yet. Yeah, he, he, he hasn't escaped from 1991. It's still 1991 for him, and he's well, sort of reprising all his same roles. And His I last think... movie was called Paprika. I want to see what that's about, because that might be the reason he stopped. Oh my god, you know what it was? Uh, he was tied to the Hubble telescope. <laughs> and... <laughs> and he's still there today. And he's still there today. <laughs> they hired him to adjust the lenses, because it was cheaper than building a machine. So he just lives on the Hubble telescope. <laughs> he eats nothing but bananas. You too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, no, that was great. Uh, Luke, what are your impressions of your The Hunter of the Future? <laughs> I'm, I'm intrigued. I, I think it's interesting that now of everybody that has engaged with this video, I am the only one who has not seen it. Yeah, you're just reacting to our reactions, which makes this crest. one of the more opaquely high concept episodes we've done. <laughs> this is a double <laughs> react. <laughs> yeah. All this right. is a let's play with an embedded react and then a react, a retroactive react. It's genre defying, but not in a fun way for the <laughs> listeners. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we got a question for Crawl, 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 Crawl. We actually have a question for Glory, too. But we'll get to the Crawl one first. Let's start with Crawl. Let's start with Crawl. Citizen Scribbler! Yeah! All right, so question for Crawl. <laughs> Although everyone in the story refers to the beast with male pronouns, it is no actually a woman door. wearing the Two costume of the beast in the movie. The Holy fuck. You feel so wait, there was a statement for Krull, not a, or a, or a... Hold tribute. on, there's a question, I'm just waiting for All right. fucking Lying John to shut the fuck up! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, John! God damn I'm it. sorry, am I playing the video game too much? <laughs> yeah, J JRD was also articulating, like, our paladin senses kicking in, so he wasn't just talking about nothing, that was an actual game mechanic and process. Is this, a, unless this is the tower with the girl and the beast, in which case, we've been here. Well, girl in the tower? I mean, there's more, there's more happening, and this is not that. Okay, Actually, good, but... good, oh, right, okay. okay. Fuck the question for Krull, I'm pick kicking it out, we're playing the game. <laughs> carefully open the door just a little. So you can hear better and look through the crack. My bad. My bad. I take it back. I'm Doors, sorry, everybody. The hinges give out a squeak. No! Why didn't we oil the hinges? Ah, rookie move. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, oh, oh no! Shit. None of the castle doors seem to have been used much recently. We died. Oh, Man, it's been a while since we died. I know. That's okay. They're out of saves. That was a good death. Woo! That was a good death. Uh, that was a good one. Uh, All right, so. Citizen Scribbler goes on to ask, uh, is it possible that the beast was a lady? If so, is Krull secretly against gay marriage? Ooh. And my answers to those two questions in order are, uh, maybe, and uh, boy, I hope not. 
to prevent I mean, <laughs> I mean, it was the 80s. Being against My gay marriage was sort of the default back then. Uh, <laughs> doesn't make it right. It just was the default. It just was like, that's just how it went. My answer uh, is reaching. Whoa. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> no, I think it's a damn fine question, and I'm going to tell you this. <laughs> I think the beast transcends gender. Ah, uh, yeah, that's that's true. Yeah. You know? Yeah, it's it's about as far from human as anything that appears in there is, you know? I, it has a I, deep voice. All the humans assume it was a man. Maybe not. Maybe it's just a thing, you know? I didn't see a big beast dick. No, that's very true. There was and no I was looking. Dick. I yeah. was looking hard, you know? <laughs> Matt saw the thing's rubber face and thought immediately, I wonder what its dick looks like. But that information is not in When problem. Matt meets it's anybody new, that is the first thought. Yeah, I wonder what its dick looks like. <laughs> ah, it's true. Carefully open the door just a little so you can hear better and look through the crack. So marriage is weird on the planet Krull uh, because it makes you a pyromancer. Oh, that's Everything true. Is going uh oh. To my, plan. my plan. I am not interested in your petty revenge scheme. What the hell? Why is Jean Grey there? He will <laughs> destroy you the moment he realizes what you truly are. No, he is already attracted to me. I want him to act from his own free will and not be some puppet whose string I hold. We were already in. After That's all, your first mistake. If I only wanted a puppet, I could have used you. There will come the day, Katrina, when I will be the Dark Master, and you will be only a memory. No. <laughs> you I'm not my sure heart's voice broken. Matches. When you left here, I was but the learner. Now I am the master. His voice does not match his face, that guy. by your own ego. I have always been your master, and you, my mere apprentice. No, my There are always two. My revenge. who? The hero or myself? Both of you. It is so easy to make you lose your temper. That is why you will never be the Dark Master. You let your overwhelming pride override your thinking. Oh, Bruno, burn! Oh man! Wow! Oh, oh. Was a, she she really did go Dark Phoenix on us, didn't she? Oh, <laughs> my heart! My heart has broken. Shh. It's Are we weird not... that Matt was fine with Anglerfish Monster, but so, uh, hold... Dark Phoenix is hard pass. Are we not just <laughs> assuming that perhaps she's just come back from a Def Leppard concert? Well, okay, that's fair. But also, I'm kind of into everything she just did there. Yeah, me too. I think we, sh I think we should go in and just, you know... Ooh, Let's join the dark you know? side. You know, what do we need to do? What do we need to do to get this done? I mean, look, this doesn't change anything. <laughs> This doesn't change anything. You we were gonna to... die anyway in our first scenario. At least this, you, you know. Open the... What happened now? Oh, they're oh, gone. They're gone. Go yeah, over. Yeah. So yeah. marriage is weird on the planet Krull because it gives you fire magic, and it's true. In the movie, I wonder. So yeah, go ahead. So, well, is the fire magic just a part of marriage, or is the fire magic just a thing that, like, Lissa and her family have? Definitely not clear. It did kind of Shiva seem like no one concept. was surprised about all the fire, though. Like, it was a normal wedding ceremony. <laughs> but, I mean, <laughs> so it, I think it, it was just... some kind of royal wedding ceremony. Like, maybe mm. it's part of the royal family, like, bloodline or whatever. They're, they're, like, they're fucking dragons, like uh, like Skyrim or some shit like that. I, I think did it, we it, just it... sneak past, like, fucking Death Note guy there? <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Through, not past, but yes. Yeah. So everyone on Krull uh, who's married has this power... How the hell would the Slayers have won? Well, the problem is that the fire is completely pointless. Um, because it, it doesn't burn, it doesn't hurt. It's all it's entirely cosmetic, right? Like Well, until the end when yeah, Colwyn to... Colwyn throws the glaive like once and loses it forever and then just <laughs> basically switches classes to pyrokineticist and just uh, <laughs> 
uses that to fight the beast in the Okay, end. so and here's he, the thing. He, he he uses her fire. I think. I think. Well, no, it's their fire of love. But I think it comes from her. And I think in a world where there's a prophecy about, let's be honest, specifically her. I think she's just magical. I think she's got fire so, hands. So I'm wondering, like, is the prophecy actually about her, though? Or was it perhaps about, like, Emir and the Spider Queen and the whole thing was a misdirect? I, uh, like, the point about her being, like, <laughs> part of this prophecy and that's the reason why Colwyn gets fire magic, that would make more sense. If that's what the movie was going for, I do not feel it succeeded at expressing that. It does just <laughs> seem like yeah, getting married cool. gives you fire magic. I, and, you know, either way, I think we win. You know, I think either way, and either yeah. answer is good. And I'm fine uh, with both. Now, I uh, we have to consult one of the writers of the Krulliverse uh, to figure <laughs> out... Uh, if that works for gay marriage as well, but I would have to assume so. Don't you think we can ask that question when we do our crawl cast? Yeah, when we get them on for the crawl cast, whoever's still <laughs> alive, they'll have like, <laughs> like even like by this point, they'd have to at least be closeted in their homophobia. So they'd have to say yes, of course it works for gay people too. Pe people change. <laughs> people change. You know, opinions change. There's people in the '80s that were like gay marriage, no, who are like. Yeah, all of my friends are gay, and and so am I. You know, I think I think that's, I think it's true. I think people change you, and times change. You know. Do you want to hear how archaic New Zealand is? We've only just banned in the last few days. We've only just banned gay conversion therapy. Oh, someone else did that recently too. I think was it. No, I don't remember. I don't remember. It was another. It was another surprise country that came out of mm. nowhere to do that. I mean, we didn't. We did it that not that long ago. Yeah, the so, world is still has, chipping uh, away at it. You yeah. Carefully oil the door. Yeah, it's it's surprisingly prevalent in the modern day. Yeah. Uh, hey guys, we actually have a question for Glory. Excellent. Let's uh, let's do it from JC Thread. Hey, question for Glory. Glory. What? Glory. Is glory. Glory. Sorry. Glory. Sorry. Sorry, my bad. Yeah. Uh, what is the most glorious game where you play as the bad guy? Hmm. Uh, probably, like, the guys know that I have trouble playing evil characters in any context. So, like, any game where you're playing as a villain, I have a hard time with it. The most glorious game I've played where you play as a villain is probably Force Unleashed. There's a, like, um, there's like a DLC, like an alternate ending thing where you become sort of the new Darth Vader and you go through the events of episode one, but you succeed where Vader failed. Yeah. So like you, you kill Ben Kenobi and then you kill Ghost Kenobi and then you turn Luke Skywalker to the dark side. It's, mm. it's kind of awesome. It's very thoughtfully done. I found it all very depressing. <laughs> um, yeah, no, that's fair. Um, I think my favorite is uh, the NES version of Karate Kid. Where you play Daniel Larusso, <laughs> the He's greatest the bad movie villain of anybody. Uh, uh, um, alien versus Predator, where you can be the alien. Plague so Inc. I'm, I'm. Go ahead. Sorry, I just said Plague Inc. Oh, Plague Inc. Yeah. Well, okay. I mean, is is a virus a villain, or is it? just a fee an unfeeling thing but Good. anyway what i was gonna go for is um so this is this might be a little high concept but the civilization series of games mm. um especially when you go for like um cultural victory uh which is what i'd usually try to go for because it's like homogenizing an entire planet under a single culture like just the erasure and all that shit is <laughs> like when you think yeah. about it yeah yeah it's uh and i mean like even if you're playing like very kindly and nicely in uh in civilization like you're always the villain of someone else's story if if modern politics have taught me anything it's that you know uh just the very um the very act of being 
a country or being the uh, the leader of a country makes you villainous in multiple ways. So mm-hmm. it's true. It's true. And I guess by that the like I guess like Shadow of the Colossus you, you kind of play the sure. villain. Well, yeah. Shadow of the actually if we're talking just epic in general, then yeah, probably actually Shadow of the Colossus is is right up there near the top. Yeah. And uh I I've, I've been playing a lot of Hitman lately. There are a few <laughs> games like that where you find out that you were the villain. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Spoilers for a 20-year-old game. Mm. But uh Matt and I, past the controller style, played uh, Little Nightmares. Nice. Uh, oh, which yeah. Which I, I can't yeah. recommend enough. And, uh, yeah, that shit takes a turn. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> it does. It does. Yeah. Yes, yes, I'm aware of the plot. I, was, I recently found out that the people who made Little Nightmares are the same folks who did, like, um, Until Dawn. And Ooh, I uh, love that all of game. those games. Yeah. Uh, Shovel Knight Plague of Shadows is pretty rad. I haven't played any of the newer Shovel Knight updates since then. Um, but Plague of Shadows is pretty good. You play as Plague Knight. Unlikely hero. Right, yeah. They have yeah. a few DLC where you played some of the, like, uh, the quote-unquote villain characters of, uh, of Shovel Knight. I think they're still making them. I was a, Shovel Knight's one of few games that I've done every achievement in, so I, you know, uh, <laughs> should get more of those games, because clearly I like them, but yeah, haven't done I, any since well, I mean, Shadows. They may still be doing some live service stuff, although I'm pretty sure they're focused now on that um, Mina the Hollower game that they just announced a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Yacht Club Games, I think they are, or I might be might be misremembering. But... And I think way back on uh, Wednesday's Day, I spoke about the Wario World games a bit. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. You- you sort of play Wario as a kind of greedy Indiana Jones type who's just taking <laughs> stuff from ancient temples and getting hurt. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks. That's a wrap. We're so close, guys. We're just one episode away from finishing. Half an episode. Thank you, Sam. Maybe five Spiller minutes. For your- <laughs> You just Matt, Matt if you commit to that, loops. then that means we keep on playing until we end. We did that with Gold Rush, and we regretted it. Remember that. Uh, <laughs> thanks to Idris for introducing us to your Hunter from the Future. Um, Thank you. Thanks to Citizen Scribbler for your challenging questions about gay rights on the planet Krull. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we appreciate it. We really do. Mm-hmm. Uh, thanks, everybody. Write your questions below, and remember, it's roll call time. If you're yeah. here, say here. Tell, yep. tell us if you're here. Give us some questions for Glory. Give us some questions for... Just fucking talk to us. We're real lonely. Yeah. <laughs> real lonely. Yes. Just just remember your preschool days. Type present. You know. <laughs> yeah. We know who's we know who's watching. Yeah. Actually, that's something the analytics don't tell us. It's like, who is watching? Yeah. yeah. I mean, we can infer from the folks that comment regularly, but... And, um, and type free. If you watched, especially if you watched all the way to the end here, let us know that you're, you know who you are. Yeah. Because we appreciate you. We really do. We really do. I know we tell you to fuck off a lot, but we do love you. Yeah. yeah. We tell we each other it's to tough fuck love. off. Yeah, yeah. We don't, we don't, that's what we, that's, it's endearing. Yeah. We, we love you. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck off, everybody. Come back next week, but fuck off. <laughs> yes. <laughs> fuck off. We love you. There you go. All right, everybody. Catch you next time. Maybe, maybe Andrew will join us next week. Who knows? Who knows? We don't know. He can, he can sing us those songs he's learned. Yeah, he's learning songs tonight. That's why he couldn't. That's why he couldn't make it. Oh, sorry, guys. I gotta learn songs. Could, couldn't take an hour off from learning to play something on the guitar. No, I have to learn songs. Oh. <laughs> Fuck you see, off. We, you see, see, we back and we backstab. You know, that's just what yeah, we do. Yeah, it's like it's like it's like it's like last week when I said that Lou was missing, and who cares? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's it's harmless and, because and I, we know you it. don't watch it. <laughs> we seem like we're friends, but we're sort of like a cabal of vampires. We just all huddled here together, waiting for one another to we'll turn, fuck up we'll so turn we can on pass. each other in a heartbeat. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's but it's kind of like though, what guys. we do in the shadows. Like none of us are competent or no. really dangerous to one another. So mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. no, no. But we do we do love each other, and we love you. And there's just a lot of love. Yeah. You know? 
There's a lot of love. All right, everybody. So stay in, stay inside. Get away from everyone. Stay, everyone, uh, stay inside. Uh, <laughs> Watch out for the keep, mega tsunami. Keep your head down. <laughs> yep. I found out something really interesting about how we almost died in 2012, but I'll get. I'll tell you next next time. All right, everybody. <laughs> Don't look at the Mayan calendar. No, it's got nothing to do with the Mayan calendar, or does it? All right, I'll see you next time, everyone. Peace. Bye, everybody. Bye. Love you, everyone. Fuck off. <laughs>